Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're going to take a look at a video of a traffic stop where the driver claims the right to travel, says he's not driving, he's actually traveling. But he does sign his signature for the citation only under duress. And while signing the citation, he reserves his rights. He also quotes a fake law that I debunk in my analysis after the video. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, my name is Joe Pometto, Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Really looking to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. Everybody's been super supportive. Please go ahead and subscribe. Also share, sign up for my email list. You'll get a free PDF history and examination of the, of the sovereign citizen movement written by yours truly. Now, before we watch this video, you came here for another reason. And you came here to have a drink with me, maybe a beer, maybe a glass of wine, maybe a cup of coffee like I drink, the nectar of the gods, black rifle coffee, raise your cup in the air, it tastes better when we sip together, cheers. Mm. All right, let's watch this video. Part two, the finalization of the the stop of the uh, law enforcement agent, CHP officer, who stopped me on, on the way to, uh, on the way home, said I crossed two <laughs> white lines, but they don't say nothing in Long Beach that I committed a crime. So we gonna see what he gonna say when he come back. We've been here for a few minutes now. We're gonna see what CHP say though. No crime has been committed. All right, sir. You are getting a citation today, okay? I'm asking you to roll this window down so you can sign your citation and be on your way, all right? What's the citation for, sir? The citation's because you don't have a license for crossing over the double yellow white lines because you don't have insurance and your registration's expired. Mm. By signing the citation, you're not admitting to any guilt. You're just promising you're going to handle the matter, okay? Your license has been expired for quite some time. Yeah, but it's, it's, there's no law saying I'm required to need a, a driver's license, sir. Yes, there is, sir. It's called 12500A. Now, I'm not... So I, I can't hear you, sir. Now, I, I, I crack this right. Here you go. USC Title 18, subsection 31, 6 and 10 clearly states, unless I'm using public roads and highways for commerce, I don't need a driver's license, sir. Okay, sir. And, 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 and I've, already, I've already have plenty of... Uh, Superior court cases uh, dismissed with the same matter, and pretty much there's been multiple Supreme Court cases that support what I'm saying right now. So, okay, sir. If, if I mean, by signing the citation, you're not admitting to any guilt. If you want to take this to court, that's absolutely fine. I'll be there. You can explain things do, to do, the judge. Do you mind? Do you mind mailing me that citation? No, sir. I need a cita I need a signature on it. It's, it's actually a misdemeanor to be driving without a license. I need a signature in order to send you on your way. Here, just go ahead. I'll, I'll do it under duress. I have as no long problem. As the signature matches the one on your license. I'll do. I'll do the one. I'll do it under duress. Yeah, right can on. you roll us down a little bit more so you can pass? Oh, uh, he can. He can reach there. and grab that for me. Thank you. I can get that. Appreciate you. Oh, you got. You, 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 you got the electronic one now, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. There's a little pen up there on top. Here, hold this for me. Okay. Thank you. This is new. It's a, like that little like a curly Q thing on top. Pops right out there. Right here. Just pull that little string. This thing. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Order off. Oh, gotcha. <coughs> Sir, do you have a license? Sir? He's, do you have not, a license? he's not required to speak to you. I'm just asking him because you don't have a license, sir. I can't let you drive away from here without a license. So you're going to have to either have him drive away if he has a valid license. It's not letting me sign, sir. You got your thumb on there? Like, you got your whole wrist on the page. You can't, like... Tap it with your thumb. I'm left handed, so I'm having to. You know, I get it. See? Oh, man. There we, there we go. Yeah. If you I, got like, your, your palm on it at the same time you're trying to write, it doesn't work so good. Technology is good for some things, not so good for others. Sheesh. Yeah, I know. I'm really trying. Alright. So, sir, you have a license? Yes, I do. Let me take a look at it real quick so I can send you guys on your way. All right. Here. All right. 
Here's your information back. Your copy of the citation is folded up right there, sir. Your so what 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 courthouse do you uh do I gotta go to? El Monte. El Monte. Yes, sir. Now are you guys actually holding uh court or do it or everything's uh, done by mail now because of the COVID situation? So they're Ooh. postponing a lot of the cases till uh, the situation's a little more mellow. From what I understand, we're not having any court cases till uh, after July. After July. Sorry, um, July twenty second, I think, is when they're planning. They're gonna to open it court. back. Yeah. July 22nd or June 22nd, I can't is there a, So can written, can, can like written correspondence, like motions and, and things of that nature be uh, mailed to the court for them to, so, so for example, like maybe a, a superior court judge can hold it in their chambers instead of waiting until they open up court? You, you can try. I don't really know how the court's doing things these days. It's kind of a weird time. Hmm. You can give it a try. Um, but because there is a misdemeanor on there that, that not having a license, you're probably going to physically appear in court. I mean, that that's, that's your opinion. I mean, it's, it's, it's Again, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to go because again, you have a gun on your hip, and and I know that be, if I don't go, then then there will be some some sort of warrant issued out. Uh, but again, I'm I'm not giving you jurisdiction over me, and I and if you look at the signature, I'm already reserved all my rights. So again, this case would be dismissed just like every other case. The would be signature dismissed. matches your license, so that's all that matters to me. All right. I don't have a driver's license. Remember, I have an ID. But that's okay. Right. Thank you. You have a blessed day, sir. So drive safe. This young man needs to drive away, not you. He has a license. You don't I don't drive. drive. I travel, by the way. Again, okay. uh, USC whoever, Title 18, subsection 316010. leaves this position, he needs It's to be not a vehicle. Okay. It's a private contravance. But I hear what you're saying. You understand? I don't understand, no. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't understand, but you got my signature. Let me though. let me see. Let me explain it this way, okay? You, I, if I, his vehicle pulls away and you're behind the wheel, not him, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell. Roger him. that. Okay. okay. Have a great day. Drive safe. I don't drive. I travel. Okay, so this guy, he crossed two white lines, but he tells us right at the beginning that he didn't commit a crime. I know most of you have seen my channels before. This is the same old story, same old song. Okay, the traffic code in many states is indistinguishable from the criminal code. Let me repeat that again. The traffic code is indistinguishable from the criminal code. The problem is sovereign citizens believe that crimes only occur if somebody is hurt or property is stolen. That's wrong, okay? The government can make certain conduct like driving on the road criminal. When you're driving on a road, there's rules to follow. You're using a public road. You want your right to travel, travel on foot. He says no crime has committed. Wrong. Okay. Uh, then the officer tells him that uh, he's being ticketed not only for crossing two white lines, but for uh, 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 invalid license, insurance, and registration, the holy trinity of pull-over stop citations. Um, pretty funny. Apparently, he says at the end he never even had a license. Um so, you know, license, insurance, and registration, the officer says driving without a license is a misdemeanor, okay? In Pennsylvania, that's actually more serious. In Pennsylvania, it actually uh, remains a summary offense, which is below a misdemeanor. Every state is a little bit different when it comes to classifications of crimes. But in Pennsylvania, that can come with jail time if you're a repeat offender, and it also comes with an additional license suspension. Then, uh, you know, the officer tells him he needs a license. This is what he did. He says, oh, there's no law saying I need a license. And then he cites USC section 31. I've researched US 18 USC section 31. What 18 USC section 31 is, is it's part of the federal criminal code where they define words strictly for the purposes of the criminal code. Now I could get really complex with this, but to make it simple, Okay, that very narrow section of the criminal code, okay, does, number one, it does nothing to affect state law, nothing. And all these violations that this officer is citing him for are state law, they're local law. We live in a federalist country, okay? So you're citing a, a federal law that plays no way whatsoever on state codes, all right? 18 U.S.C. 31. Even if it did, all it does is provide definitions for purposes of that 
code. It does refer to motor vehicles as commercial vehicles. Oh my God. I could get really into depth with this, but it's it, the reason it refers to them in that manner is simply to allow the federal law to have jurisdiction over vehicles if the vehicles are used in a crime. It's very simple. It's a jurisdictional hook, okay, because the authority of federal laws comes from the Commerce Clause of the United States Constitution, which allows Congress and the federal government, okay, to regulate and pass laws on anything that affects interstate commerce. And I could really get into that, okay? Hours, hours of talk. But just know, the best thing to know about 18 U.S.C. 31 is it's a, it's a federal law and it has no impact whatsoever on state laws. It doesn't give you the right to travel in commerce or outside of commerce, okay? It gives you no rights at all. You're wrong, it's a wrong law. All right. So um, he then says multiple Supreme Court cases. I've looked up most of those cases. Many of those cases are state Supreme Court cases. Most of them are 100 years older or more, and none of them actually say what the sovereigns pretend they say. Okay, bro? So uh, you're wrong. Um, he then signs the, the document. He says, I'll sign it under duress, right? Because if he signs it under duress, he's preserving his right to challenge jurisdiction, I guess. Um, it was funny. He gets the pad. He says, this is new. Well, this is obviously not your first rodeo, if you know that this is new. Um, he's going to file motions and written correspondence on traffic tickets. Um, complete waste of time. Will anger, will anger the judge. I guarantee it. Uh, well, listen, let me give that. You can file motions if there is a legitimate legal reason. I'm not going to say it's a complete waste of time, but if he's going to put right to travel in 18 USC in there, it's a complete waste of time. Um, he says, uh, you know, um, I'm not consenting to jurisdiction. I'm not consenting to jurisdiction. Uh, the one sensible thing he says is I'm smart enough uh, to, to, to go to court. Uh, that is a sensible thing. Um, he reserved his rights on his signature. That's interesting as well. Um, and then, you know, the, the officer says, do you understand? Do you understand? He says, I don't understand. You, and, and that's actually, I agree. You don't understand because you have a fake version of the law, sir. And it's not necessarily your fault, but you need to do some reading and some research and you need to learn that it's bs dude it's total it is total bs and he can and then he gets in at the end he gets in at the end i don't drive i travel i don't drive i travel listen dude what's that say on your the the uh the uh shifting column it's a d for driving there's no t for traveling you want a right to travel get out and go on foot overall though this guy was fairly compliant he didn't go f too far with it is BS. And I give him credit for that. He signed the citation. He's going to go to court. He's probably going to lose. Um, but you know, he was not nearly as bad as most of our sovereigns. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in. Joe Palmetto, Joe, the lawyer, common sense Academy. If you like my content, please like subscribe, comment, and share, sign up for my email list. You will get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement, plus cool and fun emails from me. Common sense Academy out.